Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app OneSafe. Right before I get to that, just want to remind you that this review is sponsored in part by AndyTags.com. So head over to AndyTags.com and check out the really cool Android themed NFC tags, stickers and keychains after the review. OneSafe, it's an app that was uh, has actually been on iPhone for quite a while and they recently released their Android app. It's a pretty simple app that just allows you, gives you a place to securely store um, information such as your credit cards, um, logins, passwords. I mean, face it, we all have like a million different login names and passwords and it's hard to keep track and you're not supposed to use one password for all your accounts, which a bunch of us probably do. Um, but this gives you a way to store them all in one place and uh, keep it safe, but have easy access to it because you always have your phone with you. So let's uh, jump on my phone and I'll show you the app, show you how it works and why I think it's a, definitely a cool app to have on your phone. Okay, so here we are on my phone and there you see the app icon for OneSafe. Keyhole to unlock all your secrets. Um, and here we are inside of OneSafe. Now you can choose whatever kind of uh, uh, lock you want on this and you'll see that in a second. Uh, I chose the easiest one just for the sake of uh, example to show you guys how this works. Um, also if you press the menu button, if you forgot your passcode, um, if you set up security questions inside of OneSafe, then you can reset your passcode if you forget it by answering those security questions. Um, so that's cool. Uh, my security password right now is 1234 because that's just so safe. And it's easy. So as you can see, there's nothing here yet. Um, to get, you can get started, add new content. It'll take you straight to the place where you add. If you back up from another device, then you can upload your information here. Uh, to change category, you swipe, which is just that whole new Android thing. You can also get there by hitting the menu button at the top. And if you press the menu button, you can search or you can go to settings. Let's go to settings real quick, just so you can see what's on there. Um, change unlock code. So if you click that, You can see the various ways you can do it. You can use a password and it kind of tells you. Okay, that's not so convenient, but it's a strong security. You can do a PIN number, which is really convenient, not so secure, or you can do a pattern, which is kind of in between. Uh, if you really want to secure your stuff, password is always the best, but obviously pick a good password. Anyway, you can do any of those. So we'll click PIN and then confirm it and then you got security questions we're gonna skip that for now um, if you change your security code it asks you for that information all over again so just so you know that's how that works you can import and export data uh, for use on another device with OneSafe and then you can select your icon size so you can go small medium or large extra large in case you know Maybe your eyesight is fading. We'll leave it at medium. And that's pretty much uh, it for customization. Again, there's not really much to customize in this. It's really just about using it to do what you have to do. So you click the menu button. You choose what category you want to save something in. Computer, document, wallet, or work. So let's just use computer for example. And then you click plus. And it takes you to here. You can use the most popular ones. Um, once you've used some, they'll show up here as most used by you, or you can always just go to all templates. Um, and all templates gives you a chance to use whatever you want to use. So you can see there's a lot of different options here. Combination lock and note or all purpose templates are down here. And then specific things, phones, insurance, contact, ID, um, network, at a file, scan a card. So sometimes you may want to scan a uh, card. So let's uh, let's do that right now, just so you can see how that works. 
And you'll see, I'm going to use a fake card that is on this ad that came in the mail for me. And uh, put it more or less in the box. And then you take the picture. Of course it's blurry because I'm shaking and trying to do all this around the camera. Um, but once you take the picture, you get to resize it and move it to put the card right in that square, which is cool. And you can hit retake or you can hit use. We're going to hit use. And now the card's there. Now, of course, this is blurry because my hands were shaking the way I was doing it. Um, and then you can take a picture of the back. So, good way to store all your credit card information. Um, something I need to do that way if your wallet's ever stolen, you have the credit card numbers and phone numbers to call and cancel them um, stored in your phone. And you can always add notes and other information no matter what uh, item you're creating. So that's cool. Um, so we'll click the check button and now that's stored on our computer. Um, click the menu, you can edit, you can share that, you can delete it, or you can add it to your favorites. And if you click the lock button on any screen, you're, it just locks you immediately out of the app and you have to enter your passcode in order to get back in. So. Uh, there we go. And then you see it right here on computer. If you add something else on computer, it'll be stored there. So you can store anything under any of these categories. Um, you're not limited to specific templates for specific categories. You can do anything. Um, but this just allows a good way to uh, uh, file it so that it's easy to find stuff. So document. You can go to document and then you can um, add new content. And then you can add a file. So you, if you add a file, then it allows you to browse your SD card or really your whole uh, phone to find the app that uh, the thing you want to uh, do. So here we go. This is a document. So we'll select. And now we have this document here. And I can add information. I can change the name of it if I want to. And click plus and now this document is in here so it's just a place to store stuff wallet so again um, you could add I'm adding random things to random files just to show you some of the things you can do um, let's see banking you can add your bank information you can add a contact your travel information uh, web accounts is probably one of the biggest ones um, now you can do specific ones that they have here as you can see all the popular ones so if, for example if you were to click Facebook then uh, the URL your username and password and then note and any other information you want maybe something you wanted isn't there listed under web accounts then you can just uh, go down to all-purpose template and just create your own and then you can add whatever you want to add to it to make it work for you so again I could show you every template but there's no point in it because it's basically the same it's just a few changes for each one um, but I wanted you to see that you can add stuff uh, manually you can also import files um, or scan a uh, credit card as far as that goes um, which is very uh, very cool uh, if you go to applications for app logins for apps you have on your phone again the template is pretty much the same for this as it is for anything else uh, there's not a whole lot of difference it's just different categories to help you identify stuff quickly so that once you've got all this information in there you kind of know uh, oh this is for all my computer stuff this one's for work stuff this one's for documents that kind of thing so you can easily go back to it and you doc know your document's going to be right there Anyway, that's pretty much it. Like I said, very simple app. You can also favorite things in order to uh, uh, be able to see your favorites. And you can click all to see everything you have stored all at once. And if you click the edit button down here at the bottom, then you see you can delete any of these categories. You can also add a new category. Um, and you can pick a different icon for the different categories so uh, for example one category I noticed they didn't have was if you have a lot of apps you want to store information on then you might want to create a specific one
for um, uh, uh, for your apps for your phone. So there's a little phone icon, and then I can say apps, and you can describe it if you want to. Uh, if you want to protect it with a passcode, you can. And then you can set up a passcode. So, actually, well, we can do that. And we'll just say D, D, D. Enter. D, D, D. Enter. We're going to skip the security question aspect. And now to get into that specific category, you have to enter your password. So if we were to go to another category, and now we want to go back to apps, you have to enter your password first. Separate password from the password you use to get into uh, OneSafe to begin with. So very, uh, very secure way for stuff you really want secured. You could have a special file to put things in it that you have to have another password to get to that stuff. So very cool. Um, you can access settings from down there too, uh, besides accessing them from up here. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much everything there is to it. Very simple app. Uh, does exactly what you would want it to do. Uh, so check it out. That was the app OneSafe. As you can see, very useful app. Nothing extremely innovative as far as the way it works. It just does what it does and does it well. Gives you a place to store copies of maybe the credit cards you have in your wallet. Um, store all your passwords to all your million different websites that you're a member of. Uh, that way you don't forget them and you have them handy, but they are secure to someone else can't get access to them Even if they maybe still your phone. So uh, pretty cool app works really well nice user interface So check it out on the Play Store. That's it for this review If you like this review, please click the like button if you know anyone who could use this app Then share this review with them on Google Plus Facebook Twitter Reddit all those fun ways are down there And most importantly don't forget to check out my channel um, besides 150 plus Android app reviews, I also have Tasker tutorials, um, NFC reviews, and even product and dog product reviews. So you can check all those out and subscribe to my channel as well. Anyway, that's it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.